What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you my first Outer Worlds build, the Sniper. So this build is all about using sneak attacks as well as tactical time dilation to maximize headshot damage and ideally take enemies out before you even have to get close to them. So, jumping straight into it from there, looking at our attributes at the start. So personally, what I like to do is put dexterity at high, intelligence at high, and perception at good. Leave everything else average. Temperament is below average because of a phobia I decided to take. But dexterity at high gives you 20% ranged weapon reload speed, as well as some attack speed for melee, but obviously we don't care about that. The ranged weapon reload speed is good for sniper rifles because they kind of have a slow reload speed. However, if you don't want to pick this up, that's totally fine. Just dump everything into intelligence and perception then, because these two are pretty necessary for doing extra damage. So intelligence is going to give us extra crit shot damage, and perception is going to give us a bonus to our uh, headshot as well as weak spot damage, which is pretty much what we're going to be aiming for down the sniper scope. So there you go for attributes. Uh, again, I like to use dexterity a little bit personally, but if you don't want to use that, you can dump the rest into just intelligence and perception, and it'll pretty much have the same effect. So from there, we're looking at skills. Now, the two primary ones we are concerned with is long guns. So we're going to put points into range until all these get to 50. Then we're going to specialize long guns to 100. That should probably be the first thing you do, because that's pretty much where all your damage is going to come from. Now, at Novice, that unlocks the Tactical Time Dilation's uh, location hit effects, which means I can hit something in the head and blind it, uh, an, an arm to cripple it, etc. etc. So at 40 Competent, it gives us 50% extra crit damage with long guns. At 60, our headshot and weak spot damage is increased by 20. At 80, there is no weapon sway after uh, 5 seconds after each kill. And at Master, our critical hits completely ignore armor. So again, this is probably the first thing we need to worry about. And then second, we're gonna come down to sneak. So sneak is a big part of this because attacks from sneak, of course, do more damage. So at 20, we get our just straight up sneak attack bonus. At 20, once we're crouched and in sneak mode, uh, we get the damage bonus from being in sneak. Uh, at competent, we can pickpocket people, which is just useful in general, especially to get key cards. At 60, we move faster while crouched. At 80, we get extra weak spot damage. And at 100, our sneak attacks ignore 50% of the target's armor. Now, this is a little redundant with the long guns, of course. However, this ignores it from sneak attacks, whereas long gun ignores it on a critical. So they're not exclusive, but yes, they can be a little redundant at times. Now, those two skills are the main ones. You want to get those to 100, and then after that, uh, personally, I find the things in some of the dialogue trees as well as the tech tree to be useful. That said, do whatever you want after that point, really. I mean, the rest of it's pretty much all uh, your choice. The main thing for the build as far as damage and engaging enemies is long guns and sneak. So after that, any way you want to play or roleplay the character is totally going to be fine. So from there, moving on to perks. Perks are pretty important with this, but specifically, I'm going to go over the ones that you need the most. Starting with Slow the World in Tier 1. This is going to give us a 25% boost to our total tactical time dilation meter, which basically means we're going to be able to use more of it, which is very important because we're going to be spending a lot of time in it. Second, we're going to get Quick and the Dead, also in Tier 1, which gives our tactical time dilation a better recharge rate. It uh, recharges 50% faster. Third, we're going to pick up the Reaper, which every time we kill an enemy, we're going to restore some of our tactical time dilation meter, which by the way is a mouthful and I'm just going to say TTD up after this. So basically we get 25% of our TTD meter back every single time we kill something, whether or not we're in it or not. However, when you're in sneak mode and you're looking down the rifle scopes as we kill things in TTD, it will then restore our meter some, allowing us to take out multiple enemies at once without ever having to leave the meter uh, or the, the mode. 
So that's especially helpful on human enemies because they tend to have lower health pools and we can just one shot like entire camps of enemies, which I'll show you later. So from there, we wanna pick up Scanner for number four, also in tier two. Now, when we're using TTD, we get a 20% bonus to headshot and weak spot damage, which obviously, again, we're gonna be spending tons of time in. Then I like to pick up Steady Hand, which after killing an enemy, our weapons weigh and accuracy penalties while moving are reduced to zero for a few seconds, which completely removes the penalties of weapon sway as well as moving. Then we're going to pick up Confidence, which means our next hit after we kill an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit, which is fantastic for the sniper rifle because we're gonna one-shot stuff and then one-shot the next thing and do even more damage. And lastly, we're gonna pick up, boom, Headshot. So Headshot kills explode and deal 25% of their damage to enemies within 2.5 meters. Um, this isn't like necessary, it's just kind of funny and I like to pick it up. So those are the perks that you would, I would say you absolutely kind of need to have for this build to work at its best. And then after that, if you want to pick up any flaws or phobias, anything like that, that you want to pick up and pick up some extra perks, to totally do it. It's totally fine. The ones I mentioned are just specifically the ones you need to really maximize the damage output here. All right. So from there, that's pretty much all you need to do as far as... Uh, attribute skills perks go moving on to our actual weapons and items we need to use so at the start of the game you're going to want to look for a hunting rifle which is your basic sniper rifle at the beginning of the game so there's basically two types of sniper rifles there's that hunting rifle there's what they call a hunting rifle ultra which is basically just the same thing but tiered up to do more damage and then there's the dead eye assault rifle and the dead eye assault rifle 2. Now, ultimately, what you want is the Deadeye Assault Rifle 2. That's going to be your best in slot weapon. It's going to do the most damage per shot. Uh, it has the biggest clip capacity as well as shoots the fastest. It is the one you want. However, as you're going through the game, Hunting Rifle, Hunting Rifle Ultra, and the regular Deadeye Assault Rifle, not the Mark II version, are also totally acceptable options until you find this one. But the Deadeye Assault Rifle 2 is what you want. Now, mentioning this real quick, because obviously sometimes you're going to be in spaces where shooting something with a sniper rifle is simply not ideal, what I recommend is you pick up an assault rifle ultra as well. So assault rifles do a ton of DPS, um, not as much damage as a single shot, and honestly our sniper rifle, because we've specced into all the perks for it, is still going to do more damage. However. In close quarters combat, I recommend you pick up an assault rifle because that's still going to benefit from all of our long gun investment and will help you out in those situations. So keep one as a backup. It'll help you out. Now, as far as armor goes, pretty much anything that uh, increases ranged weapon skill. And personally, I like to use the Sublet Contractor Helm from Fallbrook because it gives you a bunch of uh, extra creature damage and we kill a ton of creatures. And because of the way their anatomy works, creatures tend to take less damage overall from the sniper rifle, and I find that this tends to make up for that quite a bit. Uh, but honestly, anything with ranged weapon skill pretty much is going to help you out. There's nothing specific armor-wise you need to make this work. All right. So there you go, guys. There is pretty much everything you need to make the build work, and now I'm just going to show some footage in the background of me absolutely destroying some marauders so with that in mind i certainly hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment and subscribe it really helps youtube know that you like my content and you want to see more of it i also hope you consider joining my membership program for just a dollar you get some great perks and it is hands down the best way to help my channel out if you're interested in doing so so with that said thank you guys so much for watching have a great day